Hey everybody, how's it going? Jesse Nybrook here, and today we're going to go over five of my favorite websites for fonts. All these sites have a great selection of typefaces for designers and tons of other creatives. So if you enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be alerted for future videos. With that being said, let's get into it. So this first site we have up here is Pangram, Pangram Foundry. This has become kind of a favorite I've seen across the Instagram community as well as some of the stuff I use. They have tons of fonts from sans serifs to decorative serifs to all kinds of widths and font weights. So it's great for like any early on designer who wants to kind of build out their library without completely breaking the bank. You can see that some of these fonts have up to 144 styles. They're starting at just 30 bucks. One thing I highly recommend for anyone to get is this font starter pack that they have. It's only 27 bucks and it's packed with a ton of good fonts that you can use for posters. I specifically like Write Grotesque, Monument Extended, and Editorial New. Another cool part about their site is they have a fonts in use section similar to the fonts in use website shows 10 of examples of their fonts being used from designers in the community it's a great way to get a feel and kind of inspired for these type of fonts and what you could do with them so check that out maybe it'll inspire you and help you decide which fonts you want to buy so this next site is called typodermic fonts i actually found out about this recently and i'm really mad that i didn't know about it before I was looking for some typefaces for a logo project, kind of looking for some cool Y2K, like more industrial, different looking fonts. And I came across this site and I, I couldn't have been happier. Honestly, they have a ton of paid fonts that are high quality. But the thing I also really like is that there's a huge list of free fonts. What's cool about this foundry is they have a ton of versatility and a lot of different stuff that you can't find with a lot of the other popular type foundries. They have awesome stuff for you know old sci-fi posters vintage stuff different era based stuff i think if you're into like y2k sci-fi any of that type of stuff you're going to find a lot of cool things here so if you want to kind of look for some different fonts that you're not going to find other places definitely check out typodermic fonts this foundry is called ono oh type and it has some of hands down my favorite fonts ever I really like some of the decorative and like psychedelic type fonts that they've put out. What's really cool is a lot of these are also available on through Adobe fonts for free as long as you have the uh, the subscription. Degular right here is one of my favorite sans serifs. It has a lot of nice little details to it that help it stand out from some other sans serif fonts. Um, what's also cool is they have collections so you can get a bundle deal of a bunch of different fonts if you want to save up. Uh, save money and you know kind of get them all at once definitely go check out adobe fonts to try some of these out for free and if you want to license them head over to ono oh type this next one is called pixel surplus i really like this site because they have a ton of not only fonts but font bundles that give you a lot of bang for your buck they also have assets mock-ups and textures the thing I really like about this is they have a lot of nice display fonts and some of them are paid but the good thing is they have a huge selection of free goods so it's really accessible as well as if you really like a typeface or one version of it you can go back and buy the entire font family. I've used this site for a while now and I found some good stuff for big display type fonts for posters, editorial design, as well as some logo stuff. So definitely don't sleep on Pixel Surplus and go check it out for your next project. So this next one isn't necessarily a type foundry or an individual who creates typefaces. It's just the website Behance. Uh, Behance, if you don't know, obviously there's tons of projects on there from designers and other types of creatives. But if you just head over there and search up free font, free serif font, or just any type of display font, whatever you want to look for, You'll find a ton of resources and a ton of different fonts that you can check out. Most of the time, it'll link you to some kind of Gumroad, maybe the fonts website, and from there you can download it. But using Behance as kind of a directory for fonts is very helpful because it's easily accessible and there's a ton of different options because different people are uploading different types of things every day. And if you sort by the popular section, you can find all the stuff that people have liked over time. It's definitely a very powerful resource, so next time you want a new font for a project, head over to Behance and give it a go. 
Thanks so much for checking out the video. All the font websites are linked below. You can go check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to stick around for future videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.